Geochronology provides constraints on the age of a rock or mineral formation. In geology, it's all about being in the right place at the right time, and this is most important for mineral exploration. Just like tectonic setting, certain time periods can be more perspective for mineralisation than others, and these may be linked to global mineralisation events. We can use geochronology to trace ancient tectonic events to look at when a rock or a mineral deposit may have formed. We can link rock forming properties with physical conditions using geochemistry and geochronology, and this is important for understanding the formation of mineral deposits. My one line of what I do as a job is I shoot rocks with lasers, and people ask why. Basically, I'm looking at the composition of individual minerals within a rock, and with that, we can look at any solid material and uncover what is inside that material. Laser ablation mass spectrometry as a technique has been around for about 20 years and it's been slowly refined with time. We select an area, a crystal that we're interested in analysing and we focus the laser beam down to around the 30 micron mark and that's sort of half the width of a human hair and we ablate the sample. That shockwave expands and cools and as it cools it forms an aerosol. The material gets injected into a plasma and this is an argon burning plasma. The temperature inside that plasma is about five and a half, six thousand degrees, and that's roughly the temperature of the surface of the sun. And we form a stream of charged particles into our electron multiplier detector. For geological applications, we can look at the trace elements in individual crystals in a rock, and also look at the isotopic composition. And this enables us to do um, geochronology, to look at the age of minerals. With the development of what's called triple quad mass spectrometry, we're able to chemically separate two isotopes inside the instrument. We can now look at the range of minerals we have in that rock and decide which isotope system we can use to date that rock. We've been at the forefront of that development and there aren't many labs in the world that are doing this. There's a lot of different geological applications that use this technology. In the minerals industry, companies send us samples and we analyse them and send them back data. An example is companies exploring for gold. They want to know the age of the rock. Um, they want to know what mineral that gold is present in. And then we can refine the age differences from that mineral and also where it is in the sample. And then that tells the company how they can then process that ore. This is valuable information that they need to know whether that ore deposit is going to be economical or not before they start. With any technique, collaborating with the researchers is really important. We can provide the technology, but the applications are out there waiting to be discovered. And so we need to collaborate with a wide range of researchers that can bring their real world examples into our lab and we can help them solve the geological problem that they have.